The Enugu popular native doctor, Simon Odo, popularly known as King of Satan, who married 59 wives and 300 children, has been laid to rest in a car with his favorite song playing. Hi guys, you are watching M Cheeky series. If you are joining subscriber, thank you for your support. I quite appreciate that. It's good to have you around again. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on this video. Make yourself comfortable as we get right into this video. The Nigerian man from Enugu state from Aji precisely in Iwes and not local government, Bon Simon Odo, popularly known as King of Satan, has been buried in his car in his village in southeastern part of Nigeria following his death at the age of 74 years. Actually, this man is one of the most powerful native doctors in the area. One of the strange things is that he used to be a Christian before he eventually went back to his idol worshipping. He is the King of Satan. He's a worshipper of Satan. He had an interview with BBC Igbo. So according to him, according to that interview, he said that his father was a Satan, his mother was a Satan, his grandfather was a Satan. And he said his name is Simon Odo, King of Satan. My father was a Satan. My mother was a Satan. My grandfather was a Satan. Akamubo, Simon Odo, King of Satan. The messenger of Satan, because if you slap him, he will shoot you. This is a native doctor, he said he learned his craft from his mother's place. He used to be a Christian, baptized in 1956, and had his confirmation in 1958. He used to serve mass from 1959 to 1960. I've been really very pleased. In my mother, I'm born in Bagibe. Baptist in 1956. I do my confirmation in 1958. Truly speaking, that I am telling you. And I'm sure people by now will be thinking, why did he now switch back to satanic worship after testing Christianity? So he went further to say that why he went back to African traditional religion is because he was bewitched with tuberculosis and he suffered it for five years. And after that, he was charmed with rotten leg. Some people call it a new leg. I don't know the English name. That made him to be crippled for five years. As he was eating, food was coming out through his leg. The whole thing affected his leg. Five years. Nobody will come in your way, but that will five years. So, from here to here, rotten five years. Understand? I'm going to go to the table. This made him to travel to Ijebode and he discovered that it was not from God. It was somebody that did that to him. It was a human being. And he decided to go back to Ijebode where he was cured and learn the craft. So eventually he became a native doctor. He learned it for a complete seven years. When he came back to his village, he became a native doctor. That's oh. So the Nobody me That's all right. When he started practicing his craft, if somebody tells him to kill or bewitch another person that he doesn't listen to them, he refused to do that. And he said that the day he will do it will be the day he will die. That his own native doctor is not to take down people, not to poison people, not to suffer people, but to save people's lives. When you take 300 billion of dollars, can make it bad man wrong. Can you make it bad man Can you make poison? I suffer no over my dead body. You know that I would do that and die. In interview, he said he married 57 wives. Bearing in mind that the interview was conducted a couple of years ago, probably he must have added two wives to that, according to report that he married the 59th wife recently. And whenever the wives, the old wives got him angry, he will marry a new wife. That there was a time he married two wives in a month, whenever he comes across a woman who is suffering, and he asks the woman if the woman will be able to have child for him, and once the woman agreed, then he will get the woman pregnant. If the woman is actually pregnant, he will take the woman as the wife. 57 wives that I married. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. I will run a little two in a month. That right now he has 170 grandsons. Then for his sons that he has lost count, he doesn't even know the actual number of his sons. And sometimes some of his sons sleep with his wives. My grandson is 170 grandson. My only son real. I'm not more ready. Before Nara, we 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 marry. Boy, I'm going to marry you. Oh, my God.
he passed on and he said they shouldn't take him to mortuary so he was interred immediately highlight of the occasion was that he was laid to rest in his car his favorite song being played but when you look at this video playing right now you see that the coffin is laid on top of the car they found a way to drive the car down they made it in such a way that it's slanty so that the car will be able to drive into the grave they placed the coffin on top of the car i don't even know why they decided to do that but he's not the first person that they're burying in a car i've seen a case like that in south africa even in u.s where they let somebody to rest in car. But the funny thing, this car does not rot in. The body of the person will eventually rot in, but the car is metal. It can stay there for donkey years, even 200,000 years, even forever. Because sometimes when you're digging the ground, you still see old scrap of metal that is already rusted. So at the end of the day, they will still bring out the car. It can never be there forever. Let me just put it like that. When the grave will sink, part of the car will be showing. So they'll be forced to remove the car. Because when you look at it very well, you see that the car has occupied the major part of that ground so part of it will even be showing if care is not taken bbc Ibo also went to interview some people in his compound after the burial and they had this to say uh, oh, guy, make up. They come as a multiple. King of Satan. Oh, I know. 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 Mm-hmm. But mm. we are not happy. I ain't not happy no more. No, no. To tell the truth, I ain't not happy by myself. Eh, I know na onba la he jine ya na ba ye cheria on tiye headlamp si anya rozi aga ba bezo ko. Eti ya music, e putu resi. So ba ye the whole trap get on tiye ya MP3 still on music. So everything the fashion world. I can drive her entire side. Better give me a seat. Where are you? 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 So I hope you heard what they said. They were only trying to talk about their father, how nice their father was and how they were respected in the village because of their dad. According to the man's son, he said that this is the first time such a funeral had taken place in their village, Aji, that the man requested to be buried this way, that this signifies his smooth transit into his next world. Some of his children said, but the big question is, does it really help in smooth transition? Using a car to let someone to rest, does it really make the person to transit smoothly? does it make the person to have a special place in their abode up there in heavens let me know what you guys think but personally i think these are the way humans they want to appreciate their loved ones it doesn't have anything to do with spiritual it doesn't have anything to do with supernatural but most often when somebody is living his last moments when somebody is in his last moments all the promises made to the person people want to, relations want to fulfill it but in this case the man said According to the son, that that's what he wants. That's what he wanted. Most people that they bury in their cars, like I've seen in other countries, they have some attachment to it. Like a man that has a car, he made it clear that when he passes on, let the family lay him to rest in the car. And that was exactly what the family did. Anyway, I believe that there will be a way they will still retrieve the car. So let me know what you guys think about people that bury somebody in cars or people that use very expensive coffin to lay someone to rest. Do you think it was it? I'm gonna sign of here stay healthy and safe remember to share this video with family and friends if you love it and subscribe to the channel if you've not done already and i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video bye and remain blessed